The plaque was a donation to the Women's Club of Monrovia commemorating the founders of the predecessor of the Saturday Afternoon Club in 1891, lists the charter members' names, which I don't have memorized, and so Sandy's gonna have to prompt me. You she will. turn it around. Okay. I've got it now. All right. So of course, Mrs. John M. H. Bartle, or Amelia Bartle, the first president, the president for the first seven or eight years, and then Mrs. Emily Wheeler, who was the daughter, I'm sorry, wife of O. N. Wheeler, Monroe, an early Monrovia doctor, Mrs. D. H. Colcord, the wife of Daniel Herbert Colcord, a congregational minister who came to Monrovia in 1887 and built a large two-story house that is now two smaller one-story houses on East Palm in Monrovia. They went on to um, Pomona, where he served on the faculty, an early faculty member of Pomona College. Mrs. L. P. Little, who was Mrs. Lulu Pyle Little, daughter of General William Anderson Pyle, who is extremely active in the women's suffrage movement, and as far as I can tell, was personally acquainted with Susan B. Anthony. Miss Louise Hutchinson and Miss Mary Hutchinson sisters, who might have been neighbors of the Bartles in the Pacific View Tract, and Miss Mary Cogswell and Miss Elizabeth Cogswell, also sisters, who were near neighbors of the Bartles when they lived in the Pacific View Tract. And what is the, um, how was this plaque made or when or where, well, where plaque, is it from? The plaque was a gift to the Women's Club from Mrs. R.G. Wright in 1961. And it was retrieved by someone whom I cannot name when the club disbanded in 1974 and the clubhouse itself was sold. Got it. 